Hello guys, my name is Ekaterina Prozorova and I am welcoming you today on the YouTube channel of my lovely partner Vasily Kirin. I really hope that you will enjoy my videos and you will put much more likes for me than for him. <laughs> Let's start. I will show you some of my favorite exercises for the footwork because I really appreciate the very accurate footwork, especially for the ladies. So first of all, the starting of the drive action, I would explain you on the preparation step. So when we are starting on the standing position, feet together, when preparing the driving step, we need to use both legs simultaneously. So as much as my standing leg is moving, the same action is completed with my moving leg. So it will go simultaneously without pushing the leg only. What my feet is doing is the pressure. So for preparing the step, I will lift my heel. So I will move the floor forward with all my four, five fingers on my feet. So all the fingers are moving the floor forward, like I'm ironing the floor with my flat feet. So this is the action. When I'm moving this action forward with my right leg, with my moving leg, my standing leg will automatically bend forward together with the moving leg. So as you're noticing, I'm transferring my weight together with a moving leg, but I'm still on my standing left leg. So I'm not attacking my body into my moving leg. This is very important, but this exercise I will explain for you later. So we start with five fingers on the floor. We push the floor forward till the center balance and we complete the action back. The same we can do on the left leg. So we are moving all five fingers forward, bending both legs and completing the action backward. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's start doing it with the music, but remember to continue every time the moving action. Don't move the leg only. So let's prepare the posture and let's move from the right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brush the floor with the leg. Four, five, six. And change the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done guys, now we need to complete the same action moving backward. When we are going backward, my feet is, are doing the same action as forward. So with all five fingers, I'm moving my moving leg back. So I'm brushing the floor with all five fingers till the center balance and completing this action back. One, two, three four, five, six. The most pressure is coming into the, my middle finger, here, into the nose of my shoe. So I'm not opening the feet, not like that. It will be more like samba action. And I'm not curving my feet outside. So I'm moving all the flat feet and completing back. The same on the other leg, always flat. Both legs are moving simultaneously together. I'm not pressing only the leg back. It will be also the mistake. We will lose the connection together with our partner. Let's keep the same action moving back. 
with the music. Let's start with the right leg back. Posture. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two. Move all fingers back. Change the leg. Well done. Now we will complete this moving action together with a flick action in the foot. Because without the flick action, I will attack my partner forward and I will ruin my fluid movement. What is the flick? Watch my feet action. After moving all flat foot forward, in the offset balance, when I'm ready to move my step, I will flick my foot changing from the five toes into the heel. So this is the action which will complete my step. Mm -hmm. Once again, I'm moving my five fingers forward, doing the flick from the offset balance, and then I'm coming to the foot. The same will happen on the other leg. Five fingers forward, offset balance, you see I'm already almost falling, so from that moment I'm doing the flick and continuing the step. Very important thing is, if you check my backward leg, it is not twisted or turned around. It is staying the same on the middle finger. So I'm moving all my driving step without the turn. And I complete this action back. The same action with a flick will happen by moving back. I'm moving all my five fingers back, and in the last moment when I'm ready to drive, I will point my toe and continue the step. The same from the left leg. I move all fingers back. I'm brushing the floor. In the end is a flick, and I'm pulling my step next. One more important thing is to remember that our shin bones should move simultaneously and should always create the angles to the floor. When I'm moving forward, my moving leg would always stay 90 degrees to the floor. So it is the vertical line. It is for my moving leg. My standing leg should always create the 45 degree angle to the floor. So in this moment, I will pick up my trousers so you can notice my knee work. In this moment, before getting to the flick action, my shin bone of the moving leg is vertical. My shin bone of the standing leg is 45 degree to the floor. And then, I continue it again, moving, flick, and then I push. In the same moment, I continue the 90 degree of my standing leg, which is now right, and 45 degree of the left leg, which became free now. The same will happen when I'm moving back. So we need to create again this 45, uh, 45 and 90 degree. When I'm going back, again, I pick up my trousers for you. So my moving leg, the right one, will go back creating the 45 degree angle to the floor, and my standing leg 
will keep 90 degree. So this is the split action in the leg, which helps me to keep my posture high and to be well connected to the floor. And then I go. So let's try to make this uh, driving and flick action together with the music. It will be this, this counting. One, two, three, we are moving forward. Then we are doing the flick and one, two, three, completing the step. Backward will be one, two, three, we are pushing the floor back, continuing the flick and getting into the step to close feet position. Let's try that from the right leg and then we will change from the left leg. Let's start from the right leg. Prepare the posture. Four, five, six. One, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three, and one. One, two, three, and one. One, two, three, and one. Push and drive. Push and drive. Ready to change the leg? One, two, three, and one. One, two, three, and drive. One, two, three, and drive. So guys, well done. We prepared with you the driving action and I want to share with you one small secret which I'm always using during my practice. It's about the posture and the balance because I hope you didn't do this mistake now when doing the exercises with me, but I've noticed it several times with my students in the studio, so I will tell you the secret to keep the vertical balance without shaking during this drive action, we need to keep our shoulders always on the heels, especially for the ladies, because then we will create the presentation line and the beautiful shape afterwards. What I'm suggesting, we keep the uh, hands crossed backward, we will press the shoulders down, picking up the crown of the head and pulling the wrist away from our bottom. So in this way, we are creating the flat center without losing the center, flat, and we are keeping the shoulder weight on the heels, opening the presentation line, like that. So if I'm pressing my shoulders down with pulling the hands back, I will always keep vertical and it will help me to create the vertical drive without any shakes like that. And if I'm losing my posture, so I will lose my balance always and it will be much more difficult for you to balance and to coordinate it together with your partner. So I hope I did tell you all the interesting things which I wanted to share with you about the footwork please comment and like. I'm waiting for your response and see you next time. Bye.